Let's make an SVG file out of a coloring page on Silhouette Studio. Hi, welcome back to my craft room. My name is Kelsey. I also call myself Dinosaur Mama. And today we are going to learn how to trace a coloring page and break it down in Silhouette Studio so that we can make our own SVG file. This is a great technique if you are just starting out and making your own files, and if there's an image that you like and you wanna make it into a layered piece, this will show you step-by-step -step how to do that. So I went ahead and I made a flower decal. This was originally a coloring page, and I was able to take something that was black and white with just lines and make it into a layered SVG. Now you will need a paid version of Silhouette Studio to download the SVG, and I also believe to upload a JPEG or the image that we wanna trace. So you will need the upgraded version. I do have to say that paying the one-time fee was totally worth it. And Silhouette is always running sales on their different software. So really you should take advantage of that when you can. Let's jump into Silhouette Studio. So we are going to start by opening up our JPEG. Now this does have PNGs, but if you have a PNG, it doesn't need to be traced. It will basically auto trace. So let's start with a JPEG. That way you can see everything from start to finish. Now for this tutorial, I want to find something that is completely closed because we're not going to go into connecting nodes today. We're just going to go into breaking apart the image. So I'm going to select this image and it is huge. And I'm going to change the size so that we can kind of work with it at a letter size paper. So it isn't open here, but we will, or it is open here. So we will close that off, but everything else is pretty much closed. So this will be a good image to work with. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our trace panel over on the side. It kind of looks like a piece of toast to me. I'm pretty sure it's a butterfly, but we're going to do that and we're going to hit select trace area and grab the whole thing. I just clicked and dragged out. Then I'm going to hit trace down here at the bottom. You can change your threshold if it's not like a super high quality. Basically, if you do this, you just are going up and then your threshold is just going to be thicker. It's going to catch more of those, um, more of the color. So I'm just going to change it back to the 45. And I'm I'm going to put it back to the mid on my tracing here because it's been working fine. I'm going to hit trace. So now when I pull off my image in the back, you see I have these lines here. The thing I'm going to do, because this is the way I like to work, is I'm going to change it to black so I can see all of my outline. And I do want to keep this. And I'm going to actually go ahead and just remove my line, the red lines. I don't need those strokes. So those panels are right on top of each other. So here's to do your fill and here is to do your lines. I'm going to go back into my fill. I'm actually going to delete our original image. So before I break this apart, I'm actually going to zoom in here at the bottom and I'm just going to add a rectangle right here, like the smallest rectangle known to man. Okay. So I turned my snapping off and now I can move this around and resize as I want. And I just really want a thin black line to go straight across. So I'm going to go ahead back over to my panels. I'm going to remove my lines and add in the black. And I'm actually just going to make this a little bit thicker down here. That works out great. Okay. So I'm going to move this up so that it's connected. And I'm going to grab both and I'm going to weld these together. So right here, weld. And now that's one shape. Perfect. So now I'm going to zoom back out. And there's definitely stuff in here that we can clean up um, if we zoomed in uh, node wise. So you'd have to go into node mode over here, edit points. So all these little pieces we want to. So I use shift and drag out and I'm just going to delete any of these little points that we don't need. And we're going to jump ahead because we will be able to delete these later as well. And it'll be a little bit easier if you don't want to go node by node. So now let's get into the breaking apart and actually making this into a colored SVG file. So you're going to go into object and release compound path. It's the shift command E on a Mac. I'm still learning my shortcuts, but I broke apart the compound path. And now what I like to do is I like to actually grab the absolute 
outside of my file if I'm able to like that and I like to change my outer color to gray that way I can see everywhere I need to color in so there are some pieces that are going to need to be like broken into the back which we will do at the end so I'm just gonna start grabbing pieces and I'm using shift as I click on them so like all the the leaves and I'm gonna change them to green and as I do it I'm using shift still hitting green and you can of course do as many colors as you want I'm just showing the basics here and now what I want to do make sure you have all your pieces still holding shift and it's so hard to tell what's a flower and what's a leaf but we're doing the best we can here um and of course you can do different greens I'm again just showing you basics all right and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to group this so now this is all going to cut as one piece so now my next thing is I'm just going to delete delete this piece here this is a leaf uh, a petal so now we can start doing our flowers so I'm again holding shift grabbing all those petals and changing the color and now I'm going to right click and I am going to group I can change the center color and I can do that for all of them so you want them all to have a nice brown center and then make sure you're clicking and grouping and here I'm gonna go through and I am going to do the same thing for all of my flowers okay and then you're going to want to like if you want a hole here a space where that is what you'll do is you'll grab the black and that background that gray and we're going to need to slice into it so we're gonna to have to go subtract so you go to modify subtract and now there's a hole there I know it's hard to see on the um, the gray on gray so I'll just remove the there you go on the flower you're able to see it a little bit better um, and when we move it onto the white you'll definitely be able to see it so there is that hole so you can do that with all of these little black pieces if you want to so black from here grab them an easy way to do this is to group it first grab your gray again object modify subtract and now I'm just gonna do my last two things here I am going to group these and make them a different green just for fun so as I highlight over I see a bunch of black pieces so I'm gonna undo anything that's not those little squares here um, you definitely don't want to have any sort of big piece like that and then I'm going to bring them all up to up oh, I'm gonna undo this this little thing needs to be connected still and I'm trying to bring all those black pieces up to the front to see if I want to cut them in and if I don't I'm just going to hit delete so now I don't have any like weird pieces I do have one petal here so I'm going to group that in I'm going to double check all my flowers are good they are one piece my centers are one piece my leaves are one piece and then just as a double check I'm going over the whole SVG I don't see any little weird squares let's move it up to the cut area I'm gonna grab my backing again that's that big gray piece way in the back and I'm gonna change it to black and now you have an SVG file so everything is layered and you can download this and use it in a different software save as save to hard drive and then you can save this as an SVG to your hard drive so you can actually use it in a different um, cut software like Cricut Design Space so now if you were gonna cut this on Silhouette Studio the way that I would do it is go by fill here are all your different colors to cut you could go through all of them and cut it all so it's all different pieces and everything's together so let's just do a quick assembly of what the final SVG would be.
for joining me today as we made our own SVG file out of a coloring page. If you learned something today, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. It helps me so much. Subscribe to my YouTube channel where I bring you new crafty videos every single week. Share this with one of your friends who's trying to learn Silhouette Studio. And I will see you soon in my craft room. Stay crafty!